It's always good news when magnetic attraction works on the food we grow. Always good news with Connie Smith. Hi. This week, we've been focusing on the organic movement, gaining more and more traction around the world. As agriculture meets innovation, the seeds are being sown for alternative approaches to growing big without pesticides and fertilizers. Our Mindy Tweedle meets an entrepreneur from France with a magnetic personality, making his first presentation in Canada. So that's a beeswax capacitor. This capsule may well hold the key to helping solve the world's food crisis. Along with magnets, they were placed in the earth for an experiment, and the results speak for themselves. Vegetables were three to five times bigger than normal. I put this all around the field. I put like uh, five to ten an acre. After reading the book, The Secrets of the Soil, 34-year-old France resident Yannick Van Dorn learned something new that fascinated him. The applications from the influence of uh, magnetic fields and electromagnetic waves that are all around us on plant growth. So in 1999, he studied engineering and agriculture at the University of Ghent in Belgium and learned how you can fertilize your soil with, uh, with magnets. <laughs> It's strange, but uh, I explained this. Electroculture is a field of using electricity, electrical fields and currents to help soil fertility, plant growth and development. As an independent researcher and advisor for farmers, he explains this to people all over the world. And I explain how you can uh, work with uh, waves that are invisible to us, but that you can measure with devices and, and that you can improve the environment of a farm or of the fields to uh, grow better your plants. And for all, for all crops? Yes, it's, uh, it is used for all crops. Everybody has now the, the, the awareness that there's an influence of waves on life and, and uh, but you can also use that in a beneficial way and, 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 and that is what interests me and, and that is what what interests me to develop the applications for agriculture. And so he has. Just look at the size of the plants that Yannick has grown using natural energy. It's really interesting because when you have such a device or an antenna that broadcasts those beneficial waves for plant growth, you don't use to bury it every year like you have to use to bury fertilizers. Planting the seeds for a concept that could grow on farmers everywhere.